Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. And <coughs> so, originally this video was going to be a tips video where we were going to just talk about Fortnite members because I have a lot of people asking me how to get candy, where to find the catacombs, the castles, the mansions, etc., how to do the Fortnite members. Now, originally it was just going to be that. Originally it was just going to be me talking about that, but. Oh yes, the Triple Llama is back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open these 20 Triple Llamas at the same time as we talk about Fort Nightmares, about different tips and tricks and hints that I have for it. Um, and we're going to jump right into it. The very first thing I'm going to tell you guys about is candy. We're going to talk about candy. So, that's the big thing right now. The big thing right now is everyone's like, how do I get candy? Where do I get candy? The simplest thing that I can tell you is play the game, okay? So, if you go into the event, if you notice, every single time that you finish a mission, you're going to get candy. So, like here, candy, 250 candy. Vlad Vlad Word is gold. Pumpkin Head, candy. Uh, Castle Hunters, candy. Tour of the Corpse, candy. Mansion Hunters, candy. <coughs> so, of course, you might also want to know, well, where is all this stuff? And we'll get that in a second. But um, the repeatable ones are going to be the pumpkin heads. All right. So right here, if you eliminate 300 pumpkin head husks, you get 250 candy. Now, it might seem a little difficult to do these, especially in some missions. Um, I highly do recommend doing SSDs for this. You do. I do tend to see more of them in these and the other one is if you just go into your map and you can see two things. First of all, you can see the Hexylvania ones, which every single one is going to give you 50 candy no matter what. That's awesome. I don't know if these max out, but I think I heard somewhere that these max out at about a hundred, uh, 10, 10 a day. Uh, and then you're going to have your regular missions every single day, which a lot of these... Ooh. Legendary Room Sweeper. I might have to do that one after this video. Uh, man, look at that. Legendary Room Sweeper. I still need one rule sweeper. Uh, but if you go into your mission, let's go. Actually, let's go into Candy Valley because it's going to be a lot easier to identify there. A lot of people uh, right there. Candy, candy, candy. Um, yes, if you are in Twine Peaks and you do level 100 missions, you get 120 candy. But not mo not everyone is there. Most people are going to be, you know, well into Candy Valley. So you're going to look at about 100 candy each one and do the 10 missions every day. I think it's 10 missions, right? Or is it five? I think it's 10 um but then there you go you can get yourself a thousand candy every day um that's not easy though that's not easy though and because a lot of times you're gonna say you know well if i'm gonna do all these missions i mean it takes about half an hour sometimes to do each mission you're talking about five hours of missions just there so honestly if you have a limited time if you don't have all day to play this game definitely i would focus on first and foremost do the event just do go through the event do the three pages you're gonna end up with a good amount of gold uh, sorry well yeah gold and candy by the end of it and if you see a quick mission that has candy just go ahead and do it you know uh and of course as you do missions don't forget if you see a pumpkin head take him out now the other ones are going to be finding the stuff but let's go ahead and start opening llamas and we'll talk about that in a second so I'm going to open all 20 of these triple llamas. You know why? Triple llamas are my second favorite. They're my second favorite llama in the whole game. <coughs> the reason for this is because they give me a good... Oh, no. I'm out, I'm out of space. They give me a good amount of skim... Oh, look, look, look. They give me a good amount of skim uh, schematic experience. And, of course, they're going to give me the candy. So you're going to get yourself... Uh, these are triple llamas, so 350s. So you're going to get 150 each llama. Now, if it goes gold or silver... Silvers have a chance of giving you 200. I don't think I've ever seen a 200 one yet um, in tickets or candy. And gold uh, llamas also give you a chance of getting you 500. So that one's there's 50, 50, and there's going to be one more in there hidden for me. Where's the last one? There's the last one. Uh, 50. Okay. So I got myself another 150 right there. Uh, so just here, I'm going to give myself 3,000. What, 3,000? No, 150 times 10 is going to be 1,500. It's a lovely day for loot. Yeah. I'm going to end up with 3,000 candy right here. Wow. Okay. So there you go. Triple llamas. Very good. Very inexpensive, you know, to get. And you have a chance of one going gold if one goes gold. Or better yet, even if you get yourself a jackpot one. Now, when we have tickets, it's the best time. It's my favorite time to look at llamas. Oh, yeah. Because when, we, when we're in this... 
the easiest way to know when a uh, llama, llama goes jackpot is when you see more than the base amount of candy. So in this case, I'm gonna see three, right? I'm gonna see three three candies pop up. If I see more than three, I know that that llama went jackpot. It's really easy to see, to see that way. Uh, and we're hoping that at least one of these is gonna go gold so we can get ourselves some extra, extra candy in there. Okay, so that right there are the two i would say those are the main ways of getting candy there's really no other way of getting candy uh and honestly spending v-bucks unfortunately is probably going to be your best way of getting candy um it's it's just how the system is made i, I really wish i could tell you guys you know there was another way and apart from right now the taking out the pumpkin heads there is no other real farmable way of getting candy um of course ooh, silver all right so we got a gold one guys okay so we got our first gold one now this one is and should give me 500 candy now right now i'm looking for the candy you guys know that. of course in the back of my mind i'm always hoping to see those legendary survivors but right now my main priority my main focus my main desire is candy uh so let's see i can there's my first candy 50 uh 50 and come on give me 500 oh it's a 50 Oh, well, too bad. Man, I was hoping it was going to be a 500. Okay. Anyway, we're going to get ourselves some other good stuff. So, um, that's like the main focus right now. Now, of course... Oh, you know what? I'm going to be able to open my first 10 llamas. Yeah, we're going to open our first 10 llamas. Uh, we'll open our first 10, uh, our 10 uh, Fort Nightmares llamas and see what we get. And after that, of course, I'm just going to save up. I hope that I get a good swan. And I really hope that I get a one that is going to have a... Uh, oh, first Christmas. Uh, I really hope I get one that's going to give me some... Um, some good stats. I don't know if they're station. Um, what's it called? I don't know if they're uh, the perks are stationary or not. But regardless, that is the best way I would say. Uh, let's go with Husky. I already have every. I already have every single uh, stats worth I want. Um, that would be the best way that I would. Uh, I would tell you guys to go for the can. Um, if you have the money to spend, if you have the V-Bucks to spend, opening the llamas every oh, yeah. day. The llamas they give you, you uh, the, the upgrade llamas, the basic upgrade llamas, opening every llama that you can buy is guaranteed to give you candy. That will give you fast candy. And of course, like I said, go through the event. Do the Fort Nightmares event, go through the mission, complete everything. And if you're looking to farm candy, just take out the husks. Uh, but of course, that is going to take a lot of time. I mean, if you don't have hours and hours every day to just sit there and play the game, then you kind of want to just go for the quickest route, which is going to be the Fort Nightmares event right now. Uh, I've already gone through it, and it's giving me, <coughs> I don't know, about 1,500 candy, maybe, in the first three or four quests, so that's not bad at all. Okay, let's wrap up this group, and then let's talk about... Oh, 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 CC, look, 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 Jackpot Llama. Jackpot Llama, right here. Look at that. Look at this. I got five. This one, look, look. Is this the last one? That's not the last one. Um, did you see that one? That was a regular llama that instead of giving me three packs of 50, it gave me five. So that one right there gave me 250 candy. So there you go. You get a jackpot one. It's pretty good. Um, okay, so let's wrap this one up. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, one, two, three, and there you go. Okay, all right. And that should be it. There you go. So that should be it. So there's a three, and here, I'll show you. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. It gave me double. So it gave me 300. So I went from 3,000 to 4,650 candy just in this video. Very nice. Um, okay, so let's go ahead, and we're going to open the next one in a second. But the next question people may ask me is, how do you find the, the catacombs? Where do you find all the castles? Where do you find the mansions? So <coughs> this is something that if you guys watched my video earlier today um was it yeah it was earlier today uh i released a video talking about uh, I, I did my first gameplay and as i said this before uh whenever we have an event i i release i try to release every yeah. single day one Take gameplay on video home. so just you know so you guys can go through it like that uh if you guys want to play along with me or or see how it is a lot of i know a lot of people also wait till the you know to the very end to do the events as well as there's going to be a lot of new people who are going to come into the game right now in the next couple of weeks because of the sale. So, welcome to you. Thank you for watching. Um, 
so catacombs castles and mansions now this is the thing and from what i've seen so far it looks exactly the same as it was last year and last year we discovered that in every single map there's going to be two catacombs and Ooh, two castles uh or mansions or whatever uh because cast there's castles and mansions Adios. so or cottages Enjoy. is that what they're called i forget um which, by the way, did everyone find the castle for Dr. Lupe? There's a Dr. Lu There's a Dr. Lupo nod. Epic Games gave Dr. Lupo a castle. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's so. That's so cool. I mean, he must. I don't know if he play saved the world, but they gave him his own castle. We're gonna see a Dr. Ninja one next. <laughs> Anyway, I, I really thought it would be funny if they did change all the castles and everything, the names to the to people who like uh, content creators. It would be awesome. Um, but anyway, so from what we noticed last time the, that the game came around, the last time the Fort Names came around, there were two castles, or like I said, two castles, two, well, two castles for sure, or I guess some of them are mansions or cottages too, uh, and two catacombs. Now, Ooh, when you go through sharp. in your map, they're usually going to be on like different sides of the map. You know, they're not going to be right next to each oh, other. Yeah. Um, and the you greatest thing you can do is really communicate with your party. Just let them know, hey, I still need this many castles. Because actually, you have a list. If you notice where I went to the quest event, the quest line, uh, I was able to see which ones I had found and which ones I hadn't found yet. So oh, yeah. you can say, Bring you know, hey, if anyone sees a castle, whatever, mark it on the map, you know. Um, yes, gold. Gold. Come on, 500. Oh, Come on, fancy. 500. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Um, so if you go through the map and, you know, you find one, just mark it. Mark it for your party. Let them know, hey, here's a castle. Same thing with the catacombs. Now, the catacombs are a little different. Okay, let's see. 500. 500. 500. So right here, because this one went gold, I got myself 600 candy guy. Right there. Look at that. Look at that one right there. Look at that one right there. 500 candy, guys. 500 candy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, where was it? Yeah. So, yeah, oh, Zap Zap, my favorite weapon of the game. Oh, and a good. Oh. That's a good survivor. That's a good survivor. That's a very good survivor. Uh, <laughs> um, so, the catacombs are a little different. So, catacombs. They're going to, most of the time, be in the castles. Some of them don't have it. Uh, and sometimes you're just going to find them randomly in, like, broken down um, oh, well. areas. Don't like, it, it, it looks kind of like there used to be a building there, but it's all broken down. So what you want to look for is you want to look for the cellar Adios. doors. So there's going to be Enjoy. these pale, kind of, like, beige gray like doors on the floor like right on the floor uh for me the best way that i have found them is if you're in a castle go to the kitchen and i gotta give props to this i think it was ricky who said this last year if you go to the kitchen and go to like an, a stove like you know where the stoves are in the kitchen or whatever or the corner of a kitchen break the floor of the kitchen and go down and nine out of ten times the the catacomb entrance those cellar doors are going to be right there once you break the cellar doors and go down you're in the Ooh, catacomb that looks and sharp. if you know that light comes around your around your body oh, when yeah. you walk into a castle you or you goods. go down the stairs bingo bango you're in the catacombs congratulations if you're out in the wilderness looking around like i said again too chances are you're going to find them too you're going to find some like that like dilapidated broken down buildings and you're going to see Ooh, just some hard. cellar doors randomly break the cellar doors go down and you're yeah. in a catacomb Take now out. please understand there are a couple there you're not going to be able to complete until you complete the quest line <coughs> because some of them are specific i think like vlad castle vlad's castle specific one um uh, that that is if they haven't changed anything. if they haven't changed anything you are going to have to get to a certain that's point for them nice. so um but that's that's like the best way to do it it's just a matter of playing on and on. Uh, and, and this is the thing too. The castles that will generate when you go into a match are going to be random. So there are times when you're going to go into a match and you're going to walk to a castle and it's going to be the same and you're not going to get in. Oh, also look behind uh, uh, as you get higher in the missions, look behind the, um, uh, the, the thrones. There's sometimes thrones in some rooms. And if you look to the side, you're going to see kind of like the curtains don't really like there's something behind it. If you break the throne, you can find a way down into a catacomb. That's another one, too. Um, so I'm at 6,600 candy. Yeah. Uh, 165. Nice, man. 165 um, 
schematics right there. I need to go and sell some schematics because I'm 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 full. But there we go. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I was saying, don't get discouraged if you keep going back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. If you keep going into the maps and you're like, I'm not finding anything. Um, as you advance in the area, I believe, too, you're going to uh, unlock different areas with different uh, castles. But if you just go into the same one over and over again, there is a chance of it spawning a different castle. Uh, so based, definitely, if you have a chance, go through and just, you know, try and go through each one. Like, go into every single castle. Sorry, go into every single map area of the map. Uh, and check it out. That's going to be the best thing, you know. It, it is trial and error. It is just by chance. Unless they changed it. It could be it could be that they've changed it. So now you have to go to every single area of the map to find it. I don't know. That's possible. Like, I know that I've gone to these two. I don't think I've done these two here. You know what? I should do the ride the lightning and see if I get new ones. But if you're also looking, go over here and definitely, 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 definitely. Oh, I've got the Vlad statues now. Uh, definitely go ahead and pin these. Like if you pin this right here, the Mansion Hunters, Turret Copes, and Castle Hunters. Because then what you can see is, see, I've got the Bloodstone, Zero, uh, More Mist, and Morning Star to go. I've got the Crypt of Calm and Catacombs ENF and Crypt of Hex to find and Mansion Hunters. I have the Sacred Burial Ground Resort and Spa and Erla's Mansion to go through. Once I get those, I'm done. And if you pin them, you're going to be able to see them um, in your area here. See? See right here? You can see what you still need to get. So that's a good way of kind of keeping track with but i'm gonna let that go guys thank you very much for watching very soon probably tomorrow you guys are gonna see me open my first 10 fort nightmares llamas wish me luck hopefully i get what i want honestly all i really really want is a good swan and please let me know guys if you guys know uh are you able are they all static perks or can you get different things because i hope that we can get different things. anyway thanks a lot for watching guys as always i am duj2 Thank you very much for being here, guys. If you enjoy my video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor. And just have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.